and um, I will open them. I will share the uh, presentation, right? Uh, and we are doing it like share screen. Okay, uh, please enable the uh, screen sharing for us. Сейчас получается у вас сделано? Well, this will stop other screen sharing. Do you want to continue? I do. Yes. There you go. And then we show. Do you see the presentation? Да, да, видно. Yeah. Okay. Then, then we just change the camera. I'll just wait a second. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Then we'll not see you again. <laughs> Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, and welcome everyone to this webinar. Uh, that's uh, topic is volunteering and uh, how we do it in Sunnes and Norway um, by a um, uh, thing called Volunteer Centrals. Uh, I will go to the start just a moment. Uh, how do we go back? Oh, okay. Just going to start from the beginning, just a moment. Here we are. Yeah. Thank you. So then, uh, yeah. then or then? then mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, I'm uh, Bjarte Bjørnsen, head of Sandnes Volunteer Center. Uh, uh, Volunteer Center is uh, volunteering in Norway. I will, first, I will say that I think in for Norway, volunteering and uh, voluntary teams are very essential. It's crucial for the Norwegian country. If we don't have volunteering and volunteers, we would not have Norway as we know Norway today. And it's a long, long tradition in our culture and our history of being a volunteer. volunteer. Everyone, and I mean everyone in Norway, in some way of part of life, they, they um, are doing voluntary work or uh, are engaged in voluntary uh, activities. And why? Because Norway uh, needs uh, volunteering uh, and volunteers uh, in order to, to have a good society. We need that people care for each other and we do it and um, our aim of being a volunteer is by not so much uh, um, career or or um, in a way of promoting ourselves if, if you look upon the us or england they also have a great a lot of volunteering uh, going on but there they do it um, to promote themselves in a way not all i speak generally now but People do that because they want uh, to show that they're social active, that they belong to a different um, part of the society, that they are successful, that they uh, have money or so on. And they use volunteering and voluntary activities as a way of getting more advantages or career opportunities. Of course, you can do that in Norway as well, but we are based, uh, we base our volunteer activities on doing something for others. And it's something you have to do. One part of, uh, one chance of being a volunteer in Norway is that you can join up in the volunteer center. Here you can see a picture outside Sandnes Volunteer Center. You can see uh, uh, some people there. There are people from different nationalities. The man from Eritrea, a woman from Romania, a Swede, and a Norwegian. So it's a very good way also to get in touch with Norwegians, to learn Norwegian culture, language, uh, and customs by, um, by doing voluntary work. So a lot of uh, immigrants, a lot of people that works in Sandnes from other nations, they tend to go and start as volunteers to, to, to be Norwegians, to, to, to learn the language and, and to get to know the society. You also see outside the outside the building. You have like um, what do you call it uh, trolleys for the children, and you, that that indicates that we have activities from young age up till uh, very very old age. So 
do a lot of services for different age groups. So a bit background background about uh, uh, Sunless, about the, uh, the volunteer centers in Norway. Now we have about, I think it's 468, that number is correct. And we are still growing. So there are still uh, establishing and new volunteer centers are popping up in Norway. Uh, um, all the volunteer centers are not like because they are they are different and they should be different and diverse because they should always take um, in consideration in which society they are operating in. If they're operating in a big city, they do something, activities, they plan their activities um, upon the city and the needs in the city. If they're in a rural area and in, in a village, they do something else, of course, because the cities and the and, and rural areas and the small towns and the big towns and the, we, are, we are all different. So we have to adjust to where we are. And there are probably different needs. And there are different, different needs, of course. Yes, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no, there's no regulations or laws that says that if you're going to establish a volunteer center in Nova, you have to do it this, 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 this way. No, do as you please. Look upon the needs of the inhabitants and uh, go. And therefore, some work with young people, uh, others with elderly people, some arrange festivals, um, some uh, go for visits with uh, people who are isolated, who are not having good relations, who maybe are alone in the city, they don't have a family. Uh, some take young people to outside for walks, some drive elderly to the doctors, some teach Norwegian to immigrants, some go and patrol the streets, but, uh, for the safety of the, the youth. Um, some they do lawn and um, practical uh, activities uh, like lawn mowing the, the lawns, uh, fixing in the gardens, and so on. Lots of things going on. But I, I will come back to that later. Uh, so, what is common then? You come into the volunteer center in Norway is that all of us want to make Norway a better place to live. That is where. Uh, and we do that by creating networks between people. And when people meet, that's very important. If people meet, you can have this energy and you can do something. Therefore, our slogan is meeting between people or socializing between people. Hello. <laughs> and we also have some other common goals. Uh, all the volunteer centers in Norway should be a hub and link between people and organizations that mean that that means that me as a leader as a head of Sunnis volunteer center i should know what's going on in the organizations in Sunnis. i should have an overview of which organizations um, are doing what who they are um, how big they are and which opportunities each volunteer can find in them so i can be very helpful for the uh, organizations in uh, in, in, in Sunnis. And therefore, we are a meeting point and a bridge builder. We create contact between both uh, the single volunteer and the, and the organizations, but also between organizations and between organizations and the municipalities and so on. So I'm like a spider in the middle that to connect people. Um, we are, and it's very important for us to be neutral regarding uh, re religion political views and sexual orientation. So it's a very low threshold to join activities at the volunteer center. It's very easy. Come as you are. Uh, you're always useful. But you probably have some rules for the participants. Yes, the I, will, I will come back to that. Yeah, yeah we have some rules. Uh, and we should always be in addition to the ex ex existing voluntary work, not uh, competitive competitive activity that's very important so we just we have a resource for the the all the good things going on in in the organization and clubs and so on and we help them so you just help them grow we help them and grow and we have we don't compete with them though we have our own activities uh, we never step in the in their uh, um, areas we never we never attack or we never compete we never uh, try to steal volunteers from them. It's otherwise we like to give volunteers to them, and we like to 
enlighten them, help them, uh, make them stronger, uh, make them more uh, um, uh, self-empowered. Yeah. Mm. So, um, what is a volunteer center? I will speak a bit more about that. It's uh, obviously a meeting place in the local community for people who want to use some of the time on each other or other. You can come um, as you are and you can say, I want to use one hour, two hour a day in a month, each day, doesn't matter. At the volunteer center, you will find an activity that you can participate in. We are, as I said, coordinating and facilitating uh, uh, the ink. Sorry, sorry. Uh, um, we will be a resource for other voluntary teams and organizations. And we, as I was starting when the phone started to ring, so I'm sorry for that. Um, we are coordinating and facilitating increased volunteer, volunteering efforts. And that's very important. As I said, we are, our aim is to help the volunteering field to grow. Yeah, like growing the volunteer culture yeah. in yeah. the whole Norwegian society. In the right? whole Norwegian society, like a gardener that uh, takes care of a plant and a flower. We have to give it water and uh, nutrition. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah. yeah. I think this will be very interesting uh, if you tell how you actually reward your volunteers. Yes, uh, we reward the, the volunteers that don't get paid, obviously, because they are doing it for free. Yeah, yeah. But we, we are very uh, um, aware of that they are seen. We talk to them. We mm -hmm. give them lots of heads up and tell them that they are doing a good job. That's very important for people to be seen. And remember, many people who come to the volunteer centers, not all of them, but many of them are people that are maybe in, they have lost their job for a while, they're going back to work and they need something to fill the, the days and their uh, hours with that are important and we can help them on the way. Some are sick and they're, they are back from sick leave. Some are can't work. And that's very important that people who can't work, that they can do something meaningful and important for themselves. And then we have to, to, to try to lift the people up. And yes, you do a good job and tell them and enlighten them and give them credit for what they're doing. And we also have like it every once a month, we have like this volunteer lunch that I invite all the volunteers on uh, sandwiches, uh, drinks, and so on, to try to, to, to give them something back, good social place with food and so on. Yeah, and it's probably nice to, to meet the other volunteers the, very for them, right? Very important. Because they don't meet uh, different groups uh, yes. that they don't uh, usually meet. That's very important. Then, then they have a social network. They build new social networks through being uh, a volunteer. That's very important. So, so, so this is in just sorry because uh, in Norway we have very good healthcare, very good health uh, uh, possibilities. If you if you're sick, if you're fall out of the working life, the government will take care of you. Yeah. But but anyway, uh, it's very expensive to have people who are maybe able to do a, a good job. They can't do a good job because they're they're not able to do it because they're sick or so on. If they can do volunteer work, they will con contribute um, to the society, but they will also contribute to themselves by having this good self-esteem that yes, okay, I couldn't do normal work, but I can do something back to society by being volunteer. That's very important. Yeah, right. So they do not get more sick; they feel strong, Many, and then they. Yeah go yeah. back to the normal job probably. That's uh, very important because uh, some of the, them can't do that. But we have lots of examples of people who have started off as a volunteer in the uh, Science Volunteer Center. They have built themselves gradually better and better and better because then they could do something meaningful that they could uh, manage. And, and later on, they will disappear into work again. So yeah. it's a good stepping stone from being passive or inactive or out of work to back to society or back to work. 
Therefore, we also use uh, use uh, activities at Sanders Volunteer Center to immigrants and people who are uh, people who struggle. Yeah. Help them go back to work. Yeah. Yeah. So good. And we could also uh, contribute. Um, uh, our contribution could also be, we can make an existing project activity stronger. Um, let's, for example, an organization or a group or, a, and it, and it, uh, it hasn't. Uh, it don't need to be an official organization. It could be like a group of people in the neighborhood that wants to, to do something nice in the neighborhood by um, building some uh, benches and. Doing like in nice in a, in a nearby park area, mm -hmm. we could advise them. We could help them. Uh, how do you get money from the municipality? How who do who should you talk with and so on? So that's very important. So you you actually navigate them. We navigate where, them. Where, where yeah. to get funding yes. and where to start, and then they they make it work. Right? That's that's true. So uh, as I said, we resource in finding grants. Also, and other economical support because you know where we have lots, we can apply for a lot of grants and um, economical support sites, but it's very, it's so much, so it's quite hard to to to, to find the right mm -hmm. uh, right uh, thing for you. So that's why we can we can make them navigate through this jungle of economical support sites. Um, and also, as I said, we are a, a link between the municipality and the volunteering field. Yeah. That's very important. But our main goal is to help um, um, the individual to get a volunteering activity. But we also like this have this other uh, obligation that I've talked that I've talked about now. That's for the society, for the municipality, and for others. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's, it's both. Um, yes, as I told you, as I said, we are, we are very. Uh, engaged in what the municipality do. So the different divisions in the munis municipality, such as the Division for Living Condition, uh, our Unemployment Office, the Child Welfare Division, the Department for Elderly, schools, and so on, uh, are very important for us because they send, some of them send volunteers to us, mm -hmm. and some of, us, some, uh, some of them get volunteering efforts back from us. Mm. Yeah. Uh, both, so both, 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 both. Way. Uh, but in Norway, it's like we you know, we can't do. For example, if one division in the municipality wants us to do a certain kind of work, mm -hmm. then we say no, because volunteering is not work. Work is something that the labor uh, <laughs> they, should, be paid, they, should right? be paid by by paid people. And if, if we start doing that, the 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 municipality they they tend to. Um, it's a misuse of our of the volunteer field because then volunteers do uh, labor work and that's not good. That, that is free work, you know. And the, and the volunteer will actually quite quick uh, dislike this. They will see it through and say, "Why, hey, we are doing uh, something that the municipality should do," and then they will quit. Yeah. They will be angry and so on. So it's a, we have to always balance so what we can do. We should be on top of what we should do. Some all the things that the municipality don't do, all the good things, mm -hmm. social activities, uh, practical things that they, they say, okay, we, we can do this and this, but we don't do the uh, do the, um, the garden. Then we can do that. So it's yeah. very important to, to, to make a difference between those things. That's very important. If you don't do that, you will always lose your volunteers. I think Some people have tried to do it, but it, it's a wrong way to, do, to go. If, uh, it's, a, it's a very um, dangerous road to go on if you try to, to make your welfare dependent on one test. Yeah. Maybe you could illustrate this example. I know that you have some uh, like practical examples. <laughs> I, can, I can go. So uh, it I can will be more you. easy to understand uh, what, I can do. what this is about. What? Yeah. I, I can, in summary, I, 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 this is like. Um, picture of what we're doing because I think it's nice because the volunteer center is like a heat pump. I know uh, everyone knows what a heat pump is. You, We have an overview of where you can give in some of your volunteering energy. If you give some energy in, that will create and emit large amounts of heat, uh, or volunteering heat and care at the other end. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, just a small effort can uh, create a very big and very important effort on the other side. Some of our activities at uh, our volunteer center is uh, we have something called Sanne Senior Surf. Uh, that's, uh, we started up that, um, I think it was 11 years ago, because certainly we noticed that the elderly people, they were slowing, they were getting, they was they were, uh, they fall off the, the digital or digital carousel, you know, because all the youth, all of the younger people, they know how to use the dot, the PC, um, the web, the the Facebook, the mobile, and they were, they were losing it. And, and, and um, um, simultaneously, uh, and, and, uh, and the, you know, the society is going uh, more and more is relied on how, that you can use the net. You pay your bills there, you do your healthcare agreements there, you do, you do everything. You yeah. bank, uh, everything is based on uh, digital solutions. So we started up um, um, uh, this Sunny Senior Surf. This is a club that, could, that elderly people could join and then they will find, uh, meet people that would take a good time with them, sit down, and they would start to teach them how to use the computer. First, it started with how do you, how do you switch it on? How do you use the mouse and so on? They were they were completely, they they, they were they didn't know anything about this. And then, the, as it progressed, uh, the aim was that they could be uh, good users and uh, of of uh, digital uh, equipments and the net and so on. And they could be able to pay the bills on the nets and on the bank, the net yeah. and so on. And because if not, uh, you have this, we would have a problem because elderly people they. What should they do? Yeah, some of them don't have relatives. Them. Some of them don't have. So it was to enable and empower the elderly people to be active uh, participants in using the different digital uh, platforms. In, in Norway, everything uh, happens uh, on the net. online. Online, yeah. You you even uh, have to apply probably for your um, pension. Yes, yes, for your pension. Yes. Pay your bills online. Yeah, but then you are old, and probably then you're old. you just don't know how to do it, right? And prescription and medicine, uh, medicinal pr uh, prescriptions and agreements with the doctors, they tend to be more and more. Then they say, uh, okay, you can do it by phone, but we prefer that you do it online. Mm -hmm. yeah, so right. that's a problem. But, but it's a very important um, activity. And then we have, um, uh, yeah, we have this called heart. Uh, the patients. Uh, uh, this is an organization that we have uh, have a very nice cooperation with because it's like a, it's a Christian and religious organization, but they don't preach. They just do like uh, very. They were they care a lot about doing social work, mm -hmm. and, and they have a lot of uh, volunteers, but they had not that many um, activities going on. They said, "Hey, we have a lot of uh, volunteers, but nothing to do." Then I said, I have lots of things going <laughs> yeah. on. So, so if I have like some some call me from the call me and say, hello, I'm Anna. I'm 80 years old. I'm in a wheelchair, but uh, outside the garden is growing. I need someone to 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 um, mow the, the law, lawn. Can you help me? And then I just call the the heart patients, and they say, yes, we will be there the next day. Yeah. So that the sun is they very yeah. practical among tests that do. Does a lot of different uh, types of, of works, uh, mainly with elderly people who are not able to to have. They don't have relatives, so yeah. We have something called street mediation that was uh, in cooperation with the Red Cross on this. It's actually now a, a national project, and it's aimed to prevent uh, juvenile crime, um, and it's a very good method of uh, of uh, teaching the young people how to manage their temper, how to talk and manage their temper instead of using violence. And they learn lots of different methods. It's a quite long education, but it's very useful. It's got very good results. And it's a very good example of, um, very, it's, it's grown in Norway. And they also use it in prisons now, this method. In prisons? In prisons for, yeah. for inmates who are, have lots of, um, uh, sentences regarding violence, they teach them this 
method and it's a good results. It's, yes, yeah, it's very interesting. It's very good. So, so uh, we also uh, this on this project we got uh, national grants from the from the government actually for doing this. Uh, we also have something called visiting friends and hiking friends that just volunteers, private persons who uh, show up. Uh, and visit uh, lonely people, people who need, who need, don't have family, who don't have many friends, don't have a social network, and takes them on uh, hikes, small walks, or just sit down and talk with them, tell you have a cup of coffee, you know. The, the aim is being social, and that's very important. If you, if you don't have a social network, you will be an outcast, you will don't have a good life. Because you need someone to talk to. You need someone to talk to and someone to, 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 uh, to, to relate to. So that's very important. So that's why we have visiting friends and hiking friends. That's very popular. How often do they come and visit their That's very... Friends? Depends. Um, I get when people need a visiting or a hiking friend, they call me and I interview them. And uh, the needs are very different. Some, uh, some are very in need and needs a lot of visits. Uh, but I say mainly every 14th, uh, second week, maybe. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Some do it every week. Uh, and then they have this uh, regular day that they visit. Yeah. But it's always the volunteer that's uh, who's in charge or the boss. So uh, if, the, if the users or the, 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 the people who want help, the man, the woman or man who wants help, says, I, I want you to come on Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. Uh, okay, you can say that, but then again, the volunteers, uh, volunteer, he's the one or she's the one who says, no, Monday is not okay for me, it must be Tuesday. Yeah. And, and so it will be. Because it's a, uh, volunteers are people who has their own uh, life. They have their own life, their work. And yeah. That's very important. And family and work is always first, and then secondly, they're volunteer. Yeah, so they right. they're the, like uh, in charge of everything. They are the bosses in a way, though they're not paid. So that's very important thing to know to to take notice of. If you you can't you can't you can't demand volunteers to do anything. You can just ask them, could you do that? Yeah. Is it suitable yeah, right. for you? At the moment, you're starting to ask or demand. For me, as a head of Sunday's Volunteer Center, or if the municipality starts asking why can't they do this and this and that, it's wrong. Yeah. Then you are tearing down um, the essence of uh, the word volunteer. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah. And, and they and they help with this uh, some practical things. Yeah, we also right? have this practical uh, helpers helpers who run errands, mm -hmm. to buy mer merchandise, go to the to the what do you call it, apotheque, uh, <laughs> pharmacy, uh, pharmacy, pharmacy, and and uh, they do a lot of things. Do, do they clean at home? Or no, they <clears throat> no no they don't clean at home because clean we do we do. Outside work like um, mowing the lawn, uh, fixing in the yard, uh, carrying things in, and help, but but not things like uh, that. That private things that companies do, like the municipality should help them. Yeah, yeah. there it's a municipality. Yeah, that's the responsibility. That's the municipality. Yeah, yeah, they make it clean. Yeah, okay. so they will help them with that. But if we start doing that, then the municipality might say, hey. We can save our and, budgets. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not good. Uh, okay. So we have to balance that. We also have a very. Uh, we started. I don't know if you heard about Repair Cafe, but it's a very big thing in Europe. It started in uh, Amsterdam or the Netherlands ten years ago. It spread it throughout Norway. We heard it from Denmark throughout Europe. We heard it uh, from Denmark, from Copenhagen, that they have started something called Repair Cafe. And it's a concept that origin, yeah, that, that uh, it's about sharing uh, economy, system, system, uh, uh, environmental uh, care, and, and to, 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 to don't throw p things away, reuse things, fix things, uh, things that you normally should know. I just don't want this, I'm throwing it away, you can fix it. 
And again, we don't want to compete with uh, with uh, people are doing this professional, like bike um, uh, fixes and so on. So we fix like a lot of uh, clothes, electronics, things that people uh, would throw away and don't go to the profession professionals with. Yeah, because it's more expensive it's, to fix. Yeah, it's more expensive to fix right? for pro yeah, yeah. So um, this is a. Uh, if you know the green uh, wave that's going through the whole of the world, this is a very good contribution, contribution uh, and very good concept to to reuse things and repair instead of throwing away and make garbage smell instead. Of, yeah, just the just the demand. Don't call it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Uh, but I, I think this is a really cool uh, activity it because is. then people who are coming, uh, like um, let's see. A, a woman uh, who is uh, a lo lonely mother mm -hmm. and uh, she doesn't have the uh, world's best paid job and uh, she have, has never learned how to fix the clothes to, to her kids for mm -hmm. instance and she doesn't have money to buy a new ones mm -hmm. and then she is coming to this repair cafe and she helps um, she, she, she get help uh, to fix the clothes and actually she can learn these things by herself, right? That's very so you can uh, that person that get help um, can actually learn and uh, fix the thing by by herself the next time. Thank you, Tatiana, for for for, for bringing up that topic, and that's a very very big, big uh, uh, very big thing about uh, and a very important aspect of the repair cafe because we don't just fix things uh, we have very good fixes uh, people who have uh, almost like uh, professionals. professionals yeah they are professionals they used to be professionals but uh, it's very important the aspect that you brought up that the people who are bringing the toys or the clothes or the things that they want to fix they are invited in to learn yeah. and to participate participate in the fixing pro process so that's very important yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's also they also have this like uh, self-empowerment aspect there and the social aspect as well yeah and when yeah. you learn something new you, you feel much better about yourself right you do you do uh, like yeah now i can do this as well <laughs> that's true and you know in a way if you're an immigrant or if you're like uh, trying to settle down in norway you have to go through a long um, process <laughs> you know that <laughs> both of you yeah and and you're not able to work actually before before you got get your permit and that could take quite a long time in the meantime you can use your professional skills in the repair cafe we have a lot of immigrants that are very very um good very professional very uh, they, they know a good profession but they can't they can't do it professionally they can't they don't have their work permit but then yeah. they could come to a repair cafe they can attend they can work as a volunteer of course but Okay. At the end, then they will get this uh, letter of recommendation and they will get this uh, contact with me and, and we see that they can use when they're applying jobs further on. When they get their permit, they can say, okay, I've been doing volunteering work in all fields, of course. Yeah. Being, in, being a volunteer is qualifying directly, but doing an effort as a volunteer, uh, um, uh, upcoming uh, in business or something where, where you want to work it's a very pro it's a very plus for them to see that you have done this so yes. then then you so they get uh, experience experience they, they yeah. can put on their resume resume yeah and CV, uh, yeah. it's like uh, not that good as uh, working experience but no. almost uh, Yes, and 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 then for for those people, it's even better because you can you have two choices. You can even you can stay at your apartment, crossing your hands and watch telly, or yeah. you can do something while waiting for the work permit. And the people who do something, people who go doing volunteer work, they will also always be the one that will be preferred when they apply for jobs. And yeah, because they they are active. They're active. Yeah. They're active. They contribute to yes. the society, yeah. and such people are very valuable for the society. They are. Yeah. And we also have uh, at our location, we have like this big room where people can, uh, an organization can, uh, they can book the room and they can have the meetings and 
some are doing it regularly, some are doing it uh, ad hoc, some are doing it very often, and some are doing it very seldom. But it's the, the, the meeting room or the, the central is open for everyone, mm -hmm. and it's very easy to book, and it's free. Good, uh, and we all, yes, and we also we had also a lot of uh, volunteers that are working on the uh, elderly institutions, doing making everyday life for sick people or elderly people a bit happier. That's very important for us. Yeah, yeah. and it's very and the uh, the volunteers that do this, they say, uh, they, by doing this, but um, to to make people happy, to make people to to see that your effort makes people make makes a change, make make a positive change on others. That's in a way the pay that the volunteers get, and it's a very very good feeling if, uh, for your self esteem and to see that okay my effort today have really made a difference for this people or this person. Yeah, and that's a very nice thing. Um, we also have like groups coming to to us the anxiety wing people with anxiety and stress they are at our place mm -hmm. meet up and try to help themselves self help. But do um, they have anyone professional talking to the group, or they are just uh, they are people just, struggling they are who just are trying yeah, to Yeah, yeah, they're other. just people struggling, trying to help each other. And it's a very good way of, mm -hmm. of, of, uh, of course, many of them need professional help. But after that, it's a very good way of to communicate and share their uh, different stories and try to to make them uh, make life better to, together. Yeah, mm -hmm. support each other. Probably Support for people other. with anxiety, it's important to know that uh, it's not just me uh, something is wrong with. Uh, other people have just the same problem. That's right? very important. That yeah, helps quite much. it helps very much. So that's that's a good aspect. Um, I will just I can't uh, go through all of the, all these activities, but uh, I will focus on some others. And we have volunteers in events. You know, in our municipality or town, we have cultural programs for all people. We have city festival, we have sports arrangements and so on. And a lot of uh, the volunteers, they like to attend in those activities. That's mm -hmm. a very nice thing to attend them. Then you get to see the activity or the festival yourself for free. That's also yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 nice. and, and it's a place to, to meet other people. Maybe you meet the former employer there and you can, you can make contacts and so on. So it's very good. Uh, we also have something in Norway called the Day and Night Ravens. That's, uh, great. that's very interesting. And um, we, in Sunnis, we had that Day and Night Ravens for 25 years. And it's actually just, it's a very effective, but very um, simple idea because it's adult people that patrol the streets and in that way keep our community safe uh, for, for violence. Uh, uh, and other and small criminals, criminals, and other activities that we don't want, littering and so on, and uh, vandalism. Um, and the aim is to 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 keep the youth safe by just showing up in the streets. We have this yellow vests or this uh, yellow jackets with the raven symbol on, and everyone in Sunnis knows uh, knows knows them because they were visible in the in in the, in, in the town. Mm -hmm. But when they work, when they walk the, the streets, and they just walk the streets, it's very passive, and but they have their eyes uh, sharpened, and they walk, then they, they 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 watch, and they see, and the people who have bad intents know that. So when they, so when they when they are spreading themselves all, all around the city, and when when they are in the city, they the city comes down, the violence rate drops, people feel more happy because they feel safe. Yeah. And that's very important. Mm -hmm. So this is people who we are doing this uh, in the weekends, the night ravens, they on the streets uh, in the night between uh, Friday and Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. because then we have a lot of yes, um, things going on in our, in, our, in our bars and clubs and everything. And so that's very important to have people, people are drinking, so a lot of things could happen. And the night ravens, they, they they tend to 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 stabilize and calm things down. But but they are not the police, right? Not the police, they, and they don't intervene. What, what uh, they do if they, if, if they just if they if they see something happens, they mm -hmm. call the police. Okay. They call the right of authority. They have direct numbers to the police, and they have very good contact with the police. But they're not the police. So, so they are not like uh, involving themselves. The, no, they don't. In the 
any uh, no 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 they don't intervent in uh, for example if there's a fight or something mm -hmm. but the, the fine thing the, the the thing is that they, they they write this this report every night and every day when they work and i and i read it and i and the thing that's a very common is like this we were walking the main street main street in sunness there was a fight uh, supposed to go, um, coming up. They saw us. They stopped. Yeah. So it's, so, so, so it's a very the, uh, calming effect. It's enough just to show up. Yeah, enough right? just to show up and just walk with a with a yellow jacket and a yellow vest when the, when the symbol. Everyone knows that those are people that have their eyes uh, mm -hmm. as a radar and they're controlling. And they're seeing. They're watching. Yeah. So and, that's the, really the, 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 and it's parents or from parents to to to, to youngsters. Mm, so uh, as a parent, I could walk uh, like night uh, raven. Yes. And uh, uh, in that way, I um, I protect my daughter who is you, out yes. uh, in the in the evening uh, yeah. meeting her friends. Yeah. Right? You you protect or maybe your daughter is uh, maybe twelve and she's not. Uh, in, in the city center before she's 18. But you know that when you do this, like this, um, you call it dug, not, I don't know what it's called in English. Uh, uh, um, Subotnik in Russian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know in English. You, you know that uh, in five, six years, some, some other ones will do that for your daughter. Yeah. So it's very important for us to say to the people, to the parents, start when they're young. And, then, and it's not that. Uh, fun meeting your daughter maybe when she's 18 they, uh, in the no, streets no 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 no, no. So. <laughs> that could other people do yeah, yeah. So, but it's very the subotnik what do you call it subotnik subotnik is important yeah it's from soviet time oh yeah, um, yeah okay i'm not sure if it's uh, used any longer but it's about the volunteer work to do something good mm. in, in, in russia and we also have it on daytime but that's uh, just a couple of hours because there were lots of students in Sunnes, young people going for after school, they're going home. Mm -hmm. And some were reporting back to the schools and the parents and the police that they were feeling a bit afraid because something going on in the town center and so on. Uh, and then we said, okay, we'll, we'll stop the day raid from three o'clock when school starts, stops, finished, finishes, mm -hmm. and until six o'clock. So then they will feel safe because they know that there are adults going on, going the streets and patrolling. So it's again, uh, it's a um, it's a demand from the society, right? Yes. From the local community mm -hmm. that it, it was a need to look after those uh, young people in this period of uh, time of day, and then you came with a suggest suggestion, right? Yes, that's yeah. true. Mm. Very, very interesting. Yeah, it is. So then. Uh, uh, in the day and night ravens, we have a good collaboration with the police. They tend to to stop before they go out on the patrol. Mm -hmm. They have come in the cars and they talk a bit with them and say, hey, how are we doing today? We are here. And we... But again, the day and night ravens, they are not the police. They are very passive, just walking the streets, observing, mm -hmm. but doing that, the crime rate, the vandalism, bad things that shouldn't happen, drops. Yeah. Dramatically. Very, very, mm. very good activity. And we also have a speak Norwegian group. That's groups for immigrants or people who come to Norway who wants to practice Norwegian uh, language. We have volunteers that uh, shows up and speak with them in, in, in plenum or in one to one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have women group and much more. A lot of things, and all the activities have been. Uh, it's a result of, as you said, uh, a need from the society or a wish from uh, one of the volunteers that may, may, he or she might come, might come, could say to me, why don't we do this? Why I have a dream, can we do that? Uh, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. And then I try to support that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so lots of these things are, comes from a volunteer uh, the volunteer comes with ideas. Yeah, yeah, with ideas, yeah. And you have mm. to go. Yeah. Yeah, mm. that's cool. So, yeah. So, we, we are, a, in a way, a greenhouse for volunteer activities and volunteering. Mm. Mm. So, I think that's everything for today. Yeah.
Um, yeah. yeah, that's not so important. <laughs> okay, let's uh, thank you very much for this good presentation. And uh, we stopped sharing the screen. I think we'll find the right camera. Uh, sorry, for the delay. Uh, do, uh, yeah, do you hear us? Um, do, do you want to moderate the questions? I think we have got a lot of questions. Do yeah. uh, вопросов, вопросов достаточно много. Uh, спасибо, во-первых, за презентацию. Дело это было интересно. Мне показалось, что uh, на самом деле не так сильно отличаются волонтерские организации в uh, России и вот uh, из того, что сказал uh, Бьярти. То есть, по крайней мере, очень схожие виды деятельности происходят. Uh, может быть, не, не в том же, не совсем так или не совсем. В, в, в таких же количествах, но примерно это вещи похожи друг друга, это, по крайней мере, братья, может быть, и двоюрод. Я хотел бы спросить у коллег, участников вебинара, есть ли вопросы, кто хочет задать их устно, может быть, такие есть? Кто-нибудь? Хорошо, вопросов устных нет, тогда перейдем к тем, что люди написали, потому что таких вопросов было несколько. Ну и, во-первых, такой большой вопрос. А имеют ли ваши волонтеры какие-то привилегии при зачислении студентов в вузы, колледжи и так далее? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure if there's talks about that we should have privileges or, or uh, they should be given extra points if they have been could uh, document that they've been doing social or volunteering activities but i don't think that's uh we, we come then uh, we, we, it's not uh, we're not there yet but it talks about doing that actually yeah yeah Хорошо, следующий вопрос uh, от коллег, uh, он вызвал тоже интерес. Uh, есть ли какие-то традиции среди волонтеров? Uh, там, может быть, совместные выезды, пикники, что-то еще? Uh, и если есть, каким образом они там оплачиваются, как они собираются? То есть как, кто, кто, кто спонсирует такие совместные мероприятия? Are you thinking about uh, the group volunteers getting together and doing social things? Um, which, which we are very important to... It's very important to... To Okay, yes. Yes, we have, yeah, we have a good tradition for that. Uh, but we also facilitate that because we are thinking that the, the different groups should meet and get together and be social to know each other and help each other. So we also have like this, uh, every month we have a lunch that, was, that we, is free to the volunteers with loads of food and mm -hmm. cakes and to, to, to able them to, to uh, so they could come together and discuss um, support each other. But we are facilitating that. We also have like uh, this, big event every year called Yule, called Yulebo, it's very big in Norway. The Christmas party. Party, yeah. yeah. Where everything is free and they get uh, drinks and everything and good food and uh, uh, and we also have, we're also giving, uh, giving funds and giving, enable them to, 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 uh, to um, apply for funds, to apply for uh, um, help, Economically and uh, and and, and um, how we call it <laughs> uh, in different questions they need to be asked yes N need answer for yeah so so yeah it's a very uh, the the groups they are they they are supporting each other they are this transition for that in Norway yeah yeah, yeah. I see uh, the there was another question about 
um, how you reward the volunteers. Maybe they are going uh, on vacation together uh, in summer time or somewhere like uh, to, to the nature. Do you do that? Uh, it, I know I know some have done that, but I don't think it's very common because a lot of the volunteers they have family and they have jobs and they are living a very busy life. So, uh, but but some of them they become friends and they become like social acquaintances, uh, acquaintance, uh, and and they do things together on their spare time as well. But it's, it's not it's not like yeah, uh, it's not it's not. Uh, you are not arranging. That. No, no, we are not arranging that. They yeah. they they are arranging that themselves. Because they're they're becoming friends and they they want to stay with you in their companies with each, with each other after after volunteering is done and so they can so some of them they do that but we are not to like a facilitator for that no yeah right do they have some more questions let's see может быть у кого-то появились вопросы вслух которые хотят задать нет, да? Хорошо, продолжаем. Несколько вопросов было про а, такую формальную сторону, как организована работа волонтеров, а, в том смысле, yeah. что документы, то есть есть ли какая-то официальная регистрация, какие-то формы, которые yeah. заполняют волонтеры, а, все ли виды работ могут делать волонтеры, или там для них нужна какая-то специализация, какое-то обучение, yes. какое-то, какая-то какие-то корочки, да. Спасибо. Very important questions. Question. Uh, yes, um, we have this um, form that every uh, volunteer has to uh, has to, to fill out because it's very important that they they know um, what they are involving in because uh, it's we don't have this um, strict regulations, but they need to to fill in their personal information so that we know who they are. Mm -hmm. And we, if we need to check them up, we can do that by by, by their personal information. Um, they also need to fill out an agreement of silence because it's very important that they uh, that they respect the vow of silence uh, because they might come in contact with private or sensitive information in their volunteering work. Mm -hmm. But that's something that should stay with them and the people person that they are volunteering for, the pe peoples, or the, or the persons they are volunteering for. So that's very important Yeah, yeah that they, we have this um, uh, confidentiality. That's very important. In regarding to, to, to um, qualifications and so on, we provide some qualifications, some, some, some uh, uh, what do you call it? We, they need, some need to be able to show uh, proof that they can do this and this and this and this. Okay. Yeah, but it's very seldom that we require that because we think that being a volunteer is not like work. It's not like uh, a professional job. It, it's you that gives something of your own spare time to others, and uh, we of course have an interview with each volunteer and we tell them about each things that they are interested in and what we expect from them. Mm -hmm. In regarding to if you say yes to a project, yes to an agreement, okay. If you can't make it, if something happens in your life, uh, it, it's okay. Then you have the only thing we require is that you give a notice, tell us today I can't do that. Yeah. Or today I can't meet you because in other words, um, if not, people will be pe people are in a way dependent on you. So yeah. they need they need to know if you're attending or not attending. Uh, of course, and uh, yeah, it's quite simple. We don't have this uh, very much. It's just a form that we fill in with the uh, personal information. But, it, but, but during the interview, for me, it's very important to, to interview each volunteer because when I do that, I will get a picture of each one. Who are you? Where, what do you prefer? Maybe you okay. You said that you would be a visiting friend, but I don't think so. Maybe I maybe I during the interview was. See some other areas. See something areas of mm -hmm. think that maybe you not that that's not maybe the best thing for you, and then you end up in a in another activity. But uh, I my job is to facilitate in that direction. So we need we have we have the best volunteers uh, doing the best volunteer work, both for the volunteer because and and the people who are getting the support. Of course. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah. So you actually match the personality of a volunteer and uh, his or her interests yes. uh, against uh, the, the need or activity that you yes. have or you maybe would like to start. And then you try this, yeah. uh, this match. Right. Yes, and I and I also tell them, of course, about this. Uh, they have to have to write this uh, letter of confidentiality, uh, and and sometimes actually, uh, and it has happened. I have told the volunteers I want to do. I don't think you can be a volunteer because it's not it's not it's not a human right to be a volunteer. Yes, you can try, you can do, but uh, maybe you can't. So then it's my obligation to say, you should maybe you should do something else. Maybe you should go and work with this organization or that organization. Yeah. yeah. So. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So you can say no to volunteers. <laughs> yes, I can actually. Well. Yeah. 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 Uh, do we have more questions? Um, because we are kind of uh, out of time. But do we have time for something more? We say to April, go. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, we go. We have to believe that the post that we can see your heart. Yeah, actually, uh, we have um, we have this uh, room reservation just until one o'clock. So, if there were um, other questions, uh, maybe they could contact you directly. Is it okay for you? They can contact me right, directly. Right, they can, yeah, if you have uh, if you if you have my email address, any questions that you need to know. So it's okay. Yeah, you are a businessman. Yeah, for the president as well, maybe. Come on. Хорошо, 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 отлично. Спасибо большое за за ваш рассказ. Действительно было интересно. Я бы хотел еще попросить участников. Я положил в чат ссылку на форум обратной связи. Пожалуйста, пройдите, заполните ее и анонсы на будущее мероприятие тоже регистрируйтесь, приходите. Надеюсь, будет не менее интересно, чем, чем сегодня. А также всем участникам будет на почту прислана презентация а, и запись вебинара. То есть буквально через там, несколько дней вы на почту получите и сможете задать свои принципы в обратном письмом вопросы. Мы перешлем уже а, докладчик. В принципе, все. Спасибо всем большое за, за участие. Спасибо Абьярте, спасибо коллегам Татьяне. Спасибо Майе, переводчице. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for, for, for letting me uh, speak to you. And you're always welcome to Sunnis if, uh, if you want to learn something or meet up and see how we do it. So uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. And bye bye. We are going to be thrown out from this room. <laughs> so, no more. Bye. Да, да, все, спасибо большое, спасибо. Спасибо большое. Иван, а можно вам задать вопрос?